Dear Joanne, Today marks the beginning of our awaited journey together in love and life. It feels like just yesterday we were in the 8th grade meeting each other for the first time. You look even more beautiful today. I want you to know that the weather can't hinder us. Together we are stronger than life's curveballs. Just like when we were in Florida with the roof and the doors off. We were soaked from head to toe, but looking back, that was one of the best, no greater days of our lives to date. So no matter the weather, we will have each other and we will have a blast. At the end of the day, all that matters is that I have the honor of marrying you. This is your day. Thought about it, dreamed about it, and waited anxiously upon it. So now that it's here, just breathe, soak it in, and stay calm and know that my heart is yours. I have big shoulders for you to rest your head on and a strong back to carry you on when you're weary. You're the love of my life, my best friend, and spending my life without you is unimaginable. In a few short minutes, we will share the same last name and I couldn't be more excited. I love you, Cho and Kay. I hope our love is the kind that I don't even have to think about. It's easy. You are my very best friend. I can't imagine my world without you. You protect me and love me the way no one else has or can. I know you are the one for me. I have prayed daily for you since the day we met. I can't wait to be your bride and be called your wife. Thank you for supporting me, laughing with me, providing for me, and the list continues. FYI, this is forever. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Mark 10, 9. Love your future wife, Joe. Joanne, all of my life I've heard it said that marriage is about giving 50-50 and compromises. But I believe marriage requires compromises and giving 100% both ways. I promise to do my best to give you 100% every day that I have breath in my lungs. I will strive to love you unconditionally through whatever struggles we may face. I promise to not turn my back on you, but to carry you through whatever we face. I promise to reflect on disagreement and to admit when I am wrong, taking responsibility for my actions. I promise not to be passive in our relationship, but to be interactive while keeping my focus on God's plan for our lives. I will lead gently, being always reminded of Ephesians 5.22, which says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church, giving himself up for her. I promise to give all that is within me to honor you, to cherish you, and to protect you. My words are lacking in trying to describe my love for you. When my imagination searches for perfect wife, it always ends in a vision of you. Isaiah 41.13 says, For I am the Lord your God, who takes your right hand. Do not fear, for I will help you. Since God is leading us both with our right hands, I'm asking for your left hand in marriage. You're my dream come true. You're the joy in my heart, and today I take you as my best friend, my partner in life, and my one and only true love. I promise you my deepest love and fullest devotion. I promise to be forever by your side. I promise to always be there for you, even when you our love is simple and when it takes effort. I promise to laugh with you in good times and comfort you in the bad. I promise you will never face a trial alone. I promise to cherish our union and to love you more each day than I did before. I promise to trust you, respect you, and protect you. I give you my hand to hold and my life to keep. May we never forget when we shared our first kiss and may the bond that we make today before God, family, and our friends never be broken and may it only continue to grow stronger for the rest of our lives.